Simplify the square root of 2 over the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. This problem is more complicated because there is an addition in the denominator. So that leaves us with two different terms in the denominator, and in this case, two different radicals in the denominator. Our approach is going to be similar in that we're going to be multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity, but finding the quantity is going to be a little bit more complicated because we have a sum in the denominator. We're going to have to talk about a new concept, and that concept is called conjugates. If we have a sum, a plus b, and a difference, a minus b, these are called conjugates. If we have a sum of two numbers and a difference of those same two numbers, we call those quantities conjugates. And in a problem like this, the step that we need to do is we need to multiply the top and bottom by the same thing. And the thing that we need to multiply by is going to be the conjugate of the denominator. So we need to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. In this case, the denominator is the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. So we need to multiply by the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2. And we need to do the same thing to the top and bottom. So we're going to multiply the top and bottom both by root 3 minus root 2. This might seem really random and complicated, but we're going to see through the arithmetic here, going through the steps, why this method ends up working and getting rid of the radicals in the denominator. In the numerator, when we multiply the square root of 2 times root 3 minus root 2, we're going to have to distribute that root 2 to both of the terms in the other numerator. Root 2 times root 3 is going to give us root 6. Then we have minus. Root 2 times root 2 is root 4, but the square root of 4 is just 2. So we can have root 6 minus 2 in the numerator. In the denominator, because we've got something with two terms times another thing with two terms, we're going to have to FOIL everything out. So let's start with the first terms. Root 3 times root 3 equals root 9, but the square root of 9 is just 3. So for the product of the first terms, we have 3. For the outer terms, root 3 times negative root 2 is negative root 6. For the inner terms, root 2 times root 3 is positive root 6. And for the last terms, root 2 times negative root 2 is negative root 4, but the square root of 4 is 2, so that becomes minus 2. And something useful has happened here in the denominator. We have a negative root 6 and a positive root 6 that are going to cancel, because when we add a negative number and the positive version of the same number, we get 0. So those go away. And in fact, this is always going to happen when we multiply conjugates. If we have a sum of two terms times a difference of the same terms, when we FOIL, the product of the first terms is a squared. The product of the outer terms is negative AB. The product of the inner terms is positive AB. And the product of the last terms is negative B squared. And the negative AB and positive AB are going to cancel, leaving us with A squared minus B squared, which we recognize as the difference of two squares. The difference of squares. 
And this is precisely why we're multiplying by the conjugate. If we take a quantity and multiply it by the conjugate, what happens is we end up with the difference of squares of the first and last terms. So in this problem, where we had the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2, effectively we're squaring both of those terms, and that's what gets rid of the radicals. The square root of 3 squared gives us 3, and the square root of 2 squared gives us 2, and we no longer have any radicals in the denominator. So once we cancel out those square roots of 6s in the bottom, we're left with root 6 minus 2 in the top, and in the bottom, 3 minus 2 is 1, and anything divided by 1 is itself, so we end up with the square root of 6 minus 2. We no longer have any radicals in denominators, and so this is simplified, and our final answer is the square root of 6 minus 2. Any time we have a fraction where there's two different terms in the denominator, and one or both of them contain radicals, our strategy is going to be to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom in an effort to get rid of those radicals.